The Rafah border crossing into Gaza was closed on November 8 due to an unspecified security circumstance, but U.S. officials were working with Egypt and Israel to get it reopened, U.S. State Department Deputy Spokesperson Vedant Patel said, Rafah, which is controlled by Egypt and does not border Israel, is the only point of aid delivery since Israel launched a military assault and siege of Gaza in retaliation for an attack by Hamas militants from the coastal strip on October 7. Evacuations of Foreign passport holders through the crossing were suspended on Saturday and Sunday after an Israeli strike on an ambulance that was heading to Rafah, but the crossing was open again on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, to have departed Gaza continues to be at uh, more than 400, the number I provided up yesterday. I don't have any additional updates at this time. Um, outbound, inbound traffic at all through Rafah today? It, it remains closed, right. is our understanding. And in Correct. your conversations with Egyptians, do they give at all the timeline on when it might be reopened? Uh, again, I'm just not going to uh, parse into the specifics of the parameters, as our understanding is that its closure um, uh, w was because of a, a certain security circumstance. So uh, our expectation is that once that circumstance is resolved, uh, the crossing will uh, be open at the regular intervals that it's been open and uh, the flow of humanitarian aid into Gaza and uh, the uh, facilitation of foreign nationals interested in exiting will be able to do so. Military support to Israel and uh, is the U.S. in the position of drawing any red lines for Israel? What I can say, and this is not the first time that you've heard me, the Secretary, or Matt, uh, or others say this, and dating back to uh, October 7th, we have laid out uh, in clear terms, and we have done so uh, directly with uh, our counterparts and our partners in the Israeli government, uh, that there is a moral imperative, a strategic imperative, and a responsibility to distinguish between uh, Hamas terrorists and Palestinian civilians in Gaza. And we'll continue to lay out uh, that very clearly. Uh, and we have also uh, raised directly that uh, we believe that there are additional steps that can uh, be taken uh, by the Israeli government to uh, ensure protection of civilians. And we'll be continuing to watch closely. Uh, you know it's going to be a good briefing when you have a former PRS director and activist.